everybody, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. We're back at Knott's Berry Farm for Knott's Spooky Farm. This is the family friendly Halloween event that happens every weekend in October. And we're gonna check out some of the entertainment, some of the characters, eat some of the food, ride some of the Halloween themed rides. See some creepy crawlers. It's gonna come, be fun. Yeah, come with us on this adventure. Knots at 11 a.m. today. It's a Sunday, and already like the main parking lot was filled, so they put us over in like the dirt fields west of of the park. I've never parked over there, and also never gone through this like secondary entrance. It's kind of crazy. The best part about it is it drops you off right at the back of the boardwalk area, right by the new pizza restaurant, which we haven't eaten at yet. So I think we should go there first because there's some spooky pizza that we need to try. Prop Shop Pizzeria is a new restaurant here at Knotts in the boardwalk area. We have not eaten at it until today. And it actually looks like a solid option. They have pizzas by the slice, which is like $10 a slice, or you can get a whole pizza pie for 30 something. It looks like they have like a pizza oven from Italy, or at least something that looks like a pizza oven from Italy. So maybe the pizza actually tastes very good. And what I was kind of shocked to see is the desserts. The desserts look spectacular. But we're not gonna eat the desserts today. We originally came here to order some of the specialty foods, but once I saw that they had a make your own pasta bar, I, I have to try it for science. We gotta see if it's any good. They have a huge selection. You could get marinara, you could get Alfredo, you could get penne pasta, you could get meatballs, you could get vegetables. I decided to be a little bit basic and get just penne pasta with chicken and Alfredo sauce because that is my favorite. Every time I go to Olive Garden, that's what I like, okay? It is a huge portion, like this is heavy. So let's try it out. This is really, really good, I'm surprised. I mean, it's not like gourmet Italian food, but it's like fast food Italian food and I like it. The Alfredo sauce is like nice and rich and the chicken is like surprisingly very well cooked and you can't beat like this gigantic portion. This probably gets like a four out of five. I like this. This is a nice like addition to knots. I did get one of the special Halloween items. I got the Chaos Cheeseburger Pizza. And this looks like it has everything on a Big Mac. It has like ground beef, some tomatoes, some le shredded lettuce, of course some cheese, and also like that special sauce. Okay, I gotta admit, this does not look good. And it was, when we found it, it was sitting under the heat lamp, it was getting cold. This is actually very solid. I never imagined that I would want a mashup between a Big Mac and a pizza before, but it was actually very satisfying. It's a little expensive. I'll still give it four out of five pizzas. I think the reason why this tastes different than like a normal pizza slice is that special sauce. It really gives it a nice like tangy, sweet flavor. Of course, I had to get my signature Knott's Berry Farm group drink where I fill up with Coke Zero. I put a little bit of boysenberry juice in there, just a little. A little bit goes a long way. That makes yourself a boysenberry Coke Zero. So good. They also have some beers on tap there, and I had to try the signature beer of this restaurant. It's called the Prop Shop Italian Lager. Knott's has a bunch of specialty beers, like they have the boysenberry beer. So originally this was actually supposed to be a brewery. It was supposed to be like a boysenberry brewery, but then at the last minute they changed it to a pizza shop for some reason. What the heck? I was so excited for that. We were like, oh my God, a boysenberry beer brewery, that's gonna be amazing, but it's okay. They still have some, you know, special beer there. So I had to try it. Oh my God, wow, that's good. Ooh. I've never had an Italian lager, so I have nothing really to compare it to, but it is a little bit bitter. It's not just like your basic beer. And for that, I will probably give it a four out of five. It's not quite as good to me as the boysenberry beer that they have here, but this is like a solid choice. I'm just now realizing how much food we got. We got another slice of pizza. This is another one of those specialty Halloween food items, and it's the Hatch Chili Pizza. And there was no description for this either, and it looks like it's just like chicken, Hatch chilies. That's about it. So let's see if it's spicy. This is surprisingly flavorful. It's a little bit spicy, but nothing like too intense. It's just has a rich, rich flavor. It's really, really good, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This is about the same price as Pizza Planet at Disneyland, and this is like a million times better. 
It might not look like it, but trust me, you're paying the same price at a theme park. I would come here. Sorry, Pizza Planet. Don't come for me, people. Ordinary Adventure Star for this restaurant. I just, I'm so happy it's here. It's like just such a great new addition. Maybe there's a song that can cheer you up. Let's see. Hmm. For my sunshine, my only sunshine. Make me happy when skies are gray. Story Farm. We don't really go for the roller coasters. We like the more kind of mellow rides. And one of our favorites is the Calico Mine Ride. And for the holiday season, that actually changes to the Calico Candy Mine Ride. And we've never done it, so let's go check it out. That was a lot more of a reskin than I expected. I had heard some reviews from last year, which we didn't go on it. I heard they just threw some like some cardboard candy all over the place, but it had like a new song. The animatronics like were working on candy and they were talking about candy. Yeah, I can't decide if that was creepier than the original or if the original is still creepier. I liked that they were like, you guys like candy? And then there was like some creepy like pink fairy who was like <laughs> gonna be in my nightmares. Well, I loved it when we got into that room, some kid was like, mommy, I don't like this ride. Yeah, the kid was like, what is going on? Like, so I think it definitely is a little bit creepy. I don't know, I liked it a lot. It was a lot more elaborate than I thought it was gonna be. And it has like an original song, which is pretty cool. So now we're gonna head over to Ghost Town and see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. In Ghost Town, that's where little kids could dress up and go trick or treating. There are 10 different stations located all throughout Ghost Town where you go get some free candy. You just have to pay for your park ticket, that's it. From the churro factory in Ghost Town, I had to get the zombie brain mint brownie churro. And I gotta admit, this does not look exactly like it does in the photo. The photo, like the insides, looks like a green zombie ooze. And, and here it looks, I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> like a sewer sludge or something. Yeah. But the, the raspberry on the, on the outside looks very bloody, very tasty. I'll be honest with you, I, I mostly just taste that raspberry topping the blood. I don't really taste the chocolate and mint. I mean, it's in there. I can see it oozing out. It looks gross. This might be one of the most unappetizing looking <laughs> churros that Knott's has ever produced, but in terms of rating, I'm gonna give it a four out of five Peters. It's it's good. No, trick, this or, is ours. trick or treat. This no, is trick ours. or I said that's them's the rules. Ooze pouring Ooze out. Ooze is of it. full of protein. <laughs> Sounds like a well rounded you know meal. If you just go right around the corner, there's a trick or treat station. They have tons trick of candy there. Station. You know yeah. what? You should rob them. You should rob them. You have them. a gun rob and everything. Station. This is not a gun, it's a flute. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> flew right here. Uh, no, 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 no. There we go. That's a flu. Just make sure you eat the right way, not upside down. Okay. Which way is the right right way? We'll have to figure that out ourselves. I'll never tell. <laughs> it's getting kind of hot out at Nod, so I think it's about time we hit up the Timber Mountain Long Ride Halloween Hoot Nanny featuring the Calico Coffin Creepers. One of our favorite things they do here for Halloween. It is the best. 
<laughs> I love this ride. is a knots classic if you've never been on it you got to go on it if you've been on log rides before you've never been on this log ride during halloween they do the special halloween reskin which is incredible because it has an animatronic band of aliens and stuff you gotta you gotta do it and now i'd like to thank soundcore by anchor for sponsoring this portion of today's video i love going to sleep listening to podcasts or audiobooks and i love going to sleep listening to music soundcore has developed a new set of wireless earbuds made for sleep the sleep a10 wireless earbuds are designed to give you a more cozy quiet restful sleep with a four point noise masking systems they block out all external noise they're also good for when you're traveling and if you get stuck in a noisy hotel room you can block out all the noise what i like is they're tiny they're lightweight you can wear them all night without any discomfort they're perfect for a side sleeper like myself earbuds also will automatically pause whatever you're listening to once you fall asleep and you can set a personal alarm so if i'm getting up early to record my podcast it won't wake her up the soundcore app has a brainwave audio library with natural sounds that help you relax and fall asleep faster you can also track your sleep status and get feedback on the duration and quality of your sleep to get a pair of the soundcore sleep a10 earbuds for yourself click the link in the description down below and now back to our adventure this year in the stable they have some creepy critters of calico are you gonna pick up a tarantula? No! We could go look at them. <laughs> I would much rather see like the goats and the donkeys and stuff, oh, yeah. but I'm like nervous what's in there. I'm like so nervous, but let's go. We're gonna have you pet a tarantula. No! Never. You cannot pay me the money to do that. Sorry. He's hiding right now. He's trying to go to sleep. <laughs> He's a dwarf lizard. He's I'm from Australia. Six years old. He's six years old. Oh my god, look at this frog. It looks like a frog from Harry Potter. Holy crap, you can't tell, but that is a huge frog. Yeah, that's a gigantic frog. I always wanted a frog when I was a kid. Do you think he likes laying in the mud? Probably. That's a Northern Australian blue tongue skink. Oh, look at how cool his, his house is. He's got like a, a skull fountain and everything. <laughs> that's a Chinese one, right? I do not like snakes. I do not like snakes at all. Snakes. Why do have to be snakes? Okay, I think we found the spiders. It's a Goliath bird-eating tarantula. Where? What? Right oh. there. Oh and that's just a baby? Oh, yes. oh my god. Madagascar kissing cockroaches. Oh, ew. They're blue death beetles, so basically they just play dead when, like, you disturb them. Oh, they don't cause death. They just no, look they like just, they're... Yeah. I like them. They're fine. Ugh. <laughs> okay, I don't think we're going to touch anything today. <laughs> we're good. Was that like a petting zoo? Like, you're allowed to pick them up if you wanted to? I don't know. Why didn't you do it? Why didn't you do it? No. Look at this guy over here. Look at that guy right there. It's funny, we're in like an amusement park with like roller coasters and rides and all Kitra cares about is all the li little animals. They're actually really cute. There's a lot of like lizards and stuff like that. Like I just think they're so cute. The spiders are the only, and bugs are the only ones that scare me. I love his colors. He's like sparkly. Looks like he has on him. He's ready for Christmas. There's a bunch of tortoises and turtles in here. Look at how big that one is. Oh wow. There's even some dead turtles over there on the hay. 
That's Gus Bus. Well, Gus Bus? Yep. How old is he? Uh, Gus is 35. Dang. And he weighs 150 pounds. This guy's trying to escape prison. Yeah, yeah. he's like, I'm out. So this guy's eating what used to be a half of a pumpkin. You like pumpkin spice? <laughs> he Gus the Bus. He's like, leave me alone. There's an albino Burmese python. This is normally where, like, the donkey is. Oh god, down there. Oh. oh god, okay, I need to get out of this area. <laughs> Let's go visit our friend Sad Eye Joe, it's been a while. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Ooh, terrible. Terrible? Terrible. A lot better now that you're here though. Oh. Let well, me tell you, we, yeah. We missed you. Well, I missed you, girl. I know, we haven't <laughs> Appreciate seen- Appreciate the visit. I know, we haven't seen you in so long. It's been such a long time, I've been dreaming of it. <laughs> oh, have you? Yeah, all oh. my nights, I've been, I've been staying up late. Okay. I wonder when you were gonna come back. I know, well, don't worry, I'm back. Oh, and I appreciate the visit. This time you gonna stick around? I'm um, hoping I can keep you. We, we, we need to go visit Snoopy, unfortunately. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Snoopy fella. I know. Taking all my friends. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, that doggy don't deserve a single biscuit. Joe, if you ever do get out, don't go into the barn. There's all sorts of, like, creepy crawlies. Creepy in there. crawlies? Buddy, let me tell you, there's a lot of creepy crawlies right in here. Yeah. Oh, a lot no. of unwelcome critters. <laughs> you know, but then again, you know, after midnight, my only friends is the roaches. Oh, that's true. Oh, what yeah. you gonna do? You know, I name one Larry. <laughs> yeah, the other one, Lamar. Well, it was good to see you, my friend. It was very good to see you. I'm gonna miss you, girl. I know, I'm gonna you miss you, too. Okay, I will. Don't, right. don't you worry. I'll keep you in my thoughts. Okay. We'll, we'll find that key, Joe. Okay. Please. <laughs> okay, bye, bye, Joe. Bye, bye Joe. I love you. I love you, too. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Never let go. Okay, buddy. I'm gonna miss you. Bye. Bye-bye now. Bye. 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 Don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, I love Joe. So you should probably know that Spooky Farm only runs till 5 p.m. on the weekends, and then it turns into Scary Farm, and you need, no, need a different ticket. But Snoopy and the gang and their Halloween tire are only out until 3, so we're running over there right now to try to catch them. Snoopy, what is the scariest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did you say to him? I said, what is the scariest thing you've ever seen? And then he pointed at her? Yeah. That's funny. And then she like, was like, well, oh, I will. That's so funny. Over in Camp Snoopy, they also have a show. They have the Great Pumpkin Palooza. We're going to see that right now. It's time, everybody. Our search for the Great Pumpkin is about to begin. I'm not sure this is a good idea, Linus. Those woods look pretty dark and scary. Meeting the Great Pumpkin to believe. Whatever. I better not miss trick or treating. Everybody say boo. 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 Say, this is it. This is it. That's stop. Spooky can be fun. Spooky can be fun. Jaws is dropping in the brains on on that unless you have like small children and just go meet Snoopy instead, right? Yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you, a lot of the kids in the audience looked antsy until like they had the dancing segment. So I'm not even sure if it would be good for kids. <laughs> so Not Scary Farm gets all the cool merchandise, but Not Spooky Farm does get this t-shirt and it's orange and you got... Vampire? Oh, yeah, Vampire Snoopy. Yeah, and then the rest of the gang. I think this is pretty cute. Just says not Sperry Farm and it's him. Why isn't he Vampire Snoopy then? He's eating a pumpkin just like those turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Look at behind you at these. Oh yeah, the Peanuts my characters God. is like all the like the monsters. Now so that's like, cool. That's Frankenstein. Frankenstein. A witch. I knew it. 
Yeah, I knew it too. Oh my good god, look at this one. That is so wait, cute. Wait, what is he? He's a he's a dog in a scary mask. That's so cute. You can get him in plush form. <laughs> with those little things. Okay, I was wrong. They actually have another shirt, and I actually like this one. It looks like it's made to be distressed. Either that or it was really cheap printing. I don't know. I'm going to go with made to be distressed, but I like the Peanuts gang. You can see the silhouette of Knott's oh, Berry yeah. Farm in the background. Oh, that's fun. Look what I found. I found some Knott's Spooky Farm candy corn cotton candy. Do you think it tastes like candy corn? I hope so. Otherwise, what's the point? Okay, but how cute is this? Little pumpkin! They got Snoop and they got Snoopy. Do you think Gizmo will fit into that? Yeah, she's a good girl. See, she likes it. She's wagging her tail. Hi. What a sweetie. Yes. She's a miniature golden doodle. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Nice to meet you, though. Have a creepy day. Thank you. We're trying. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> Ever since we went into the barn and played around with the creepy crawlers, Kitra's been saying all day, like, I wish I could eat one of them. Yeah, gosh. I wish I could eat one of those frogs. Well, good news, they got frog legs here, so I guess I'm volunteering to try them for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Ew, are those the bones? Oh, I don't know about this. I don't know about I mean, it smells good. Thank you. Dude, come on. Look at that. Oh, gross. There's actually two pizza places in Knott's Berry Farm. There's the one that we tried earlier, and there's the OG Wagon Wheel Pizza, which is right next to Ghost Rider. That's where you can find the frog legs. It's served with rice and gumbo. I'm like freaking out. I don't know. I, I have so many questions. Like, what kind of frog is this? Does he have a family? Like, I, I don't, he like has very thick thighs. Did he work out before they, they, I'm about to eat him? Like, I don't. Peter, will you eat half of this? Will no. You? Are you serious? I'm a vegetarian. No, you're not. You just want to eat that s'mores funnel cake. That's what you want. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to go for the frog legs first, because I'm pretty sure the gumbo will be great, right? You can do it. I believe in you. You <laughs> got that. Remember earlier, I told you when I was a kid, I always wanted a pet frog. I was like obsessed with frogs. I had like frog stuffed animals. Well, now you get to eat Kermit. How do I even... Look at those buns. Buns of steel. Is that a butt check? He must work out. Let's get some of that gumbo flavor on there. like chicken. <laughs> That's not the face you make when you eat chicken. <sighs> okay, the gumbo's good. Let's try the gumbo. I'm freaking myself out. This is actually pretty flavorful. It has a little bit of like that Cajun spice in there because of the gumbo. This really does just taste like chicken, except I don't know, it's like a different consistency than chicken. It tastes like you're eating a frog, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this was a fun experiment. I say be adventurous and try it for yourself and have a little challenge with yourself. I'd probably give this like a three out of five. How many Kermits? We're gonna go into Ghost Town Bakery to see if they have any Halloween treats. Look at this. Yeah, jack o' lantern pumpkin cheesecake, it looks like. That's cute. I've never actually eaten anything from in here before. Really? I feel like this is a uh, hidden gem. 
I know this isn't for Halloween, but this boysenberry pie bar looks to die for. I've never wanted anything more in my entire life than this Snoopy cupcake. Look at that's Snoopy, right? That's Snoopy? Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at them. They're all equally good. It's like which one which one would I get? <laughs> that's so funny. I'm not sure if that's Snoopy or if it's like my five year old nephew drawing of Snoopy turned into a cupcake. Look at Snoopy. He, he wants this bone, but there's a spider on it. Uh-oh. Don't eat it. Oh, look at this Oreo cookie shot. And like the gummy worms coming out of it. Look at that cinnamon roll. Or this pecan crusted sticky bone. Sometimes you gotta make the smart decision and don't buy the sweet treat at the end of the day. Here's what happened. We really wanted to get this s'mores funnel cake. Peter really, really wanted it. We were waiting all day for like our sweet treat. And they only sell it in Not Scary Farm. So some of the stuff you can come during Spooky Farm and they'll have it, like the stuff that we've showed you, and other stuff, for some reason, they only sell at Scary Farm. So just keep that in mind. And they don't tell you what's what. Yeah. It's just like all this. But it's good. We don't need it. We don't need it. I had those frog legs. I'm good. Good to go. <laughs> okay, I think your costume's the best. time of year. Oh, well, we will be reminiscing about this Halloween for many years to come. I couldn't agree with you more, Miss Kate. If you want to see what happens at Knott's Berry Farm after 5 p.m. when the fog rolls in, <laughs> put the video right over there. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons that include Tiffany Lopez, Cynthia Santos, Taylin Jade, and Alara and Scott. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Goodbye.